We're seeing a new level of censorship among uh, internet technology companies, Google, YouTube, Facebook, yes. shutting down speech, arguing that they're not at all required to uh, ensure free speech of all Americans on their platforms, their private platforms. Uh, this, is be this is a little bit of, an, of, a, of a concern in that as they have reached a critical mass in the marketplace, they dominate a good portion of the news, for example. Something like 63% uh, of all millennials get their news from Facebook. And if Facebook is going to control the flow of the news and not allow free speech, are we headed to a difficult place for speech if these Internet technology companies are not reined in? This is extremely dangerous for those of us who have any appreciation for freedom of speech. You know, in the colonial days, in our, na by our nation's history, uh, you had uh, the public square. That was the forum for speech. And the First Amendment gave clear protection for these traditional public forums. Well, now things have shifted. Now the place for, for, for expression, for discourse, for speech, it's in social media. Mm -hmm. And if these conglomerates uh, go down this road of deciding to no longer respect uh, the, the free speech forums that these have become and instead use these in ways to control speech, to control the minds of the Amer American people, uh, we're looking at something very dangerously close to George Orwell's, George Orwell's 1984. And, and that should alarm all Americans, from the left and the right, who have a true respect uh, for freedom of speech and freedom of expression. One of the things that it seems that our system of laws have protected in terms of speech better than most other forms of speech is political speech, because it's so central to the heart and soul of the American experiment. A congressman from Middle Tennessee, Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn from Middle Tennessee, made an announcement to run for the United States Senate, and in it, she made a promise to defund Planned Parenthood, and based on that comment, she was censored by, uh, I guess it was Google. Uh, when, when these companies censor political speech, are they not then trifling with democracy in a way that looks like the heavy hand of, of uh, you know, the, 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 the barons of the 1880s and 90s who had so much disproportionate effect on government because of their money? Yeah, I think it's a really good analogy. Uh, because of uh, the e extreme nature of the control of those large companies uh, in terms of uh, American life, economic life, we had antitrust statutes. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, these companies, Google and, and, and the others, uh, are begging for a similar antitrust statutory uh, in involvement of government mm -hmm. if they continue to go down this route of... Of, of disrespect for differing opinions, political and otherwise. Uh, we already see this taking place in our public universities. And we at Pacific Justice Institute are very alarmed with regard to the extent to which public universities, which were once the open marketplace of ideas, are now becoming the most closed-minded tyrants of ideas that don't agree with a certain philosophy. Uh, that the fact that we, we're seeing this also creeping its way into social media uh, puts us in a very uh, challenging time in American history, none that I think any of us have seen in our lifetime, and one that must be addressed or the outcome for freedom uh, could be horrific for generations to come. So when we see opponents to the gospel attempt to marginalize Christians and demonize Christians, their ultimate goal is to silence us, is it not? Oh, absolutely. Their goal is to, uh, to vilify us, to silence us, and to snuff us out, or to quote the Southern Poverty Law Center, to destroy us. Destroy. That's their mindset. And our response, constructively, has to be the opposite. It has to be uh, to connect, to respect, and to engage in relationships and discussion, for, to breed understanding, and at the very least, true tolerance. Uh, true Christianity is really all about true tolerance, and that's why we all have to work hard to protect it. Indeed.